On Friday and Saturday, Brevard High School put on their musical, Peter and the Starcatcher. We talked to some of the cast members to learn more about it. I play an ensemble character, which is basically pirates, mermaid, and also a tribal member. What is the show about? It's about how Peter Pan became Peter Pan. This week for Club Spotlight, we talked to Claire Griffin and Doug Grimm to learn more about Tri-M. Tri-M is a national music honor society, and it is the sole music honor society for high school students in the United States. It's really simple. All you have to do is be uh, in one of the performing in one of the musical performing arts, excuse me, uh, in band or in choir, um, or you know, be a be a musical performer, such as you know, if you're in an orchestra or if you're in a wind ensemble or stuff like that. Um, and then you have to have, I think, a 3.5 GPA, um, and keep up your studies as well. I think there's also an honors project that you'll have to do as well. Um, it's very simple. It's relatively new. We had it last year to begin with, but we're still just getting started. And this year we began to have meetings and there were people who held offices. But other than that, next year it should really take off. It always is rough getting started. This week, I talked to the dairy judging team about their accomplishments at the state competition. So this past, uh, I think it was like two weeks ago now, yeah. we drove down to state still for oh, our yeah. dairy evaluation state competition. And we ended up placing first in the state, so we're going to Indianapolis in October for nationals and we'll be able to compete mm -hmm. there, uh, which is really, really exciting. It's yeah. a huge accomplishment for us. We're, this is our three-peat this year. How has participating it, in it impacted you? You learn a lot of different skills when you have to learn how to judge the cows based on what Jane said, but you also learn things like public speaking and time management. And you get to travel with the best ag teachers, which are trips you'll never forget. How can students be a part of it? By joining the FFA chapter and talking to Mr. Harris and Ms. Rimer about what CDEs you can compete in, like dairy judging. This week, I talked to Courtney Meyer and Angela Lane. They're the SCAD winners from Brevard High School. So at the SCAD Sidewalk Arts Competition, I placed first in the high school division. I won second place in the high school division for the SCAD Sidewalk Contest. What does SCAD mean to you? SCAD is the Savannah College of Art and Design, and their Sidewalk Arts Festival is such a fantastic experience to have. It's so much fun. Um, you get to share your artwork with people from all over the country and just get to meet them and hang out, so it's a great experience. Hello and welcome to another episode of EZPN. I'm Luke Milligan here with Parker Grant. Is not here apparently, but uh... Ugh. okay, we're here to tell you about the upcoming sports schedules for Brevard High School. Many of the teams have wrapped up their seasons, and there will be some events that we won't be able to tell you because teams will be making playoffs and such, and we don't know who they'll be playing or where just yet. All we know right now is that there's a football parent meeting on Monday, April 7th, from 6.30 to 7.30. Yes. Tennis has state individuals at Cary Tennis Center from Friday to Saturday, May 4th to the 5th. And track has their 2A division regional Saturday, May the 5th. We have some more amazing top action thriller sports highlights this week, and we're going to start them off right now. We're almost there. Excellent.
This one's huge! Those are some pretty great highlights. Well, I think that about sums it up for us here at EZPN. I'm Luke Milligan here with... And we're signing off. <laughs>